This is Jim Kolke with Pinnacle Property Inspection Services and today we're going to do a home inspection with a thermal imager. We're going to show you the ins and outs of thermal imaging and how they will help in your home inspection. It's almost impossible to see things that we're going to be able to see today with this thermal imager. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to take a look at the front door of this property, make sure there's no energy loss. Generally what happens is that we lose energy around the pocket of the door and the only way you could see that is with a thermal imager. Again, it's impossible to see these things without a thermal imager. And exactly as what I'm thinking right now, we've got, a, we've got air loss coming out of the bottom of this door right here. And I'll let you see the picture. And then the corrective measure for this would there be, you want, you want to put some form of a flap on the bottom of here. Uh, that would seal this, the, this uh, actual opening and make sure we didn't have any other issues here. As you see, like we thought, there was going to be an air gap on the bottom of this door. The next thing we do is we do all the exterior walls and we do the top, the, all the ceilings. The reason why we do these ceilings is because insulation is generally uh, under depth and what ends up happening is either there's moisture leaks through the roof being a, a, a bad roof or that we're losing actual heat loss through the roof. And right now we're going to give it a shot and see what we've got. And lo and behold, we are missing insulation. The color difference here with the blue to the red, the red is meaning that we're holding heat in. The blue means that there's no insulation there. So we do have an insulation issue in this, this portion of the home. So generally what we do is we store this. This all goes into your report. As we scan across the wall over here. The next thing we think we find, generally this area right here is on the corner round up top and we're going to take the moisture meter out. Generally this means a couple things. Either it could be just uh, just insulation issue, but in this case it is not. There, This is a moisture leak. So we're going to put down for water penetration on this area. There is a possibility of mold in this portion of the home. Again, as you can see, you cannot see any moisture stain. There's no way you'd be able to find this with the uh, unaided eye. Another space that we're going to do today at this inspection is the electrical box. The reason why we do the electrical box is we do a pre-inspection actually on the exterior before we open the box just to make sure that there's no hazards inside. Generally what can happen is there's either double taps or there's cross connections or there's a variety of things that could be in this box that we don't know about and while we use the, this thermal imager we're able to see these things. What we're going to do is open up the box right now and again we take a look with the thermal imager <clears throat> and we see what we could find. And what I'm finding right now is that we have a, one breaker that's a little warm right now and that's generally not a big problem, but it could be. And, and this is just basically a picture of what you're gonna, you would see on your report. Uh, we will, we'll get a little bit farther into when we generally open up the box and see what the problems are on the, on the electrical. The next area we're gonna do is this uh, area, it seems that it looks like it's a weight room or a, an exercise room. Uh, this is a slab on grade portion of the home. What that means is that there's no basement below it. There's essentially just a concrete pad below this. Uh, and, and we check this area. These are exterior, exterior walls of the property. Uh, and these windows, it seems, since we've been doing the inspection here, the windows have been leaking uh, either with uh, air gaps or there's moisture issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot this area today and just make sure that these windows are still in the same boat. And it seems that on the bottoms over here that there's issues with, uh, with the sills on the exterior. They might be tilting towards the house and letting water come in. If you take a look at the camera right here, uh, you're able to see this, uh, what's going on in this picture. The, the blue area is the moisture. Uh, I'm going to put a moisture meter on this and see what we come up with. And essentially, this isn't a moisture problem right here. What it is, it's an air gap. It needs to be sealed with silicone or, uh, or caulk from the interior and the exterior uh, just to save it on the R value. But these are things that, again, you wouldn't be able to see with the unaided eye because, as you can see, they do look good. They don't look like there's a problem here. But unless you use a thermal imager, you will not be able to see this. 
Thanks for watching our video today. Hopefully it was helpful in your choice of home inspection company. Remember, using a thermal imager is the only way of doing an inspection. Without a thermal imager, it's like driving blindfolded. If we can help you in any other ways, please visit us at www.pinnaclepropertyinspection.com and have a great day.